Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, back as the cleansing hand of the Emperor in the Caligari Sector. A wonderful time was had this past Saturday with the Cabal doing a live stream for four hours. Four hours worth of absolutely destroying heretics and uh, working towards the uh, the event that was going on. Uh, so it was a lot of good fun. Thank you all who joined me for that live stream. If you haven't seen it yet, the VOD is available on the channel. It's called Kill, Maim, Purge. As, as that's what we were doing. Now, this session, there's a little bit to go over first because I did gain six levels uh, during those four hours, and my power level is now 406, and I'm also using what I'm going to refer to as the ease method of inventory management because uh, I've, sold, <laughs> I've sold everything in my inventory and in my storage almost. I've got like some of these things that are, you know, worth keeping around still and things that I'll be able to use later as I level up. But I've sold everything else for the purpose of increasing my power level and uh, that should help me accomplish more of my missions. I've also unlocked a couple of new psychic powers that I've actually enabled. I've got myself the spontaneous combustion that allows me to target an enemy unit or an enemy individual and uh, potentially blow them up if I actually manage to kill them with this ability. I also have a sail, which is another telekinetic power here uh, that I've used it's got a little bit more of a cooldown 3.8 seconds as opposed to the three seconds of crush but i should be able to get over that easily enough you can see it's a dot bleeding a vulnerability for warp knockdown and knock back so hopefully it'll work out we're going to test this out this is actually my first time using a sail and over here as well we've got molten beam which i believe is that uh single target attack that I've been wanting for a very long time. So it should be interesting. We're testing out a couple of new powers here. And uh, I also have some upgrades to my character. Spent some of my skill points in the uh, Curia Doctrines over here, increasing my inoculator capacity and reducing the cooldown on the inoculator as well, because as we all know, I could use that. I could use that help for sure. Uh, think there's one more thing to mention right i had mistakenly clicked on uh the rogue trader over here which began the next investigation the enemy below uh so we're just gonna take a quick look and see what we were talking about over the course of that conversation i apologize for that misclick but it was uh wasn't something i could avoid or actually sorry it was Chapter 3 of Klosterheim that it, that it instigated. So my first attempt at using Uther's Tarot for divination was a disquieting but immensely effective experience. When one focuses on certain names or ideas, in this case I was concentrating on the Martyr and Lord Klosterheim, the Uther's Tarot reaches into the warp and trawls for echoes of past and possible future events connected to that idea. I'm still uncertain of what I witnessed, but most probably it was an astropathic message sent recently by Lord Klosterheim's astropath without his authorization or a message he will send in a possible future. This desperate cry for help was or will be swallowed by the warp, and it will never reach its recipients, but the tarot channeled it to my mind. Strangely enough, this mental transmission was strong enough to affect even my astropath, who picked up this forceful vision on his own to his great dismay. He was also able to decipher the location from where it was sent. Now I have the possible coordinates of the martyr, and I have a terrible sense of foreboding of the events that will unfold on that haunted vessel. So that was the little video cinematic we saw in the previous episode that we're going to sort of push forward through. We are going to trigger that next uh, main mission because, again, we're kind of going... We're over its power level, and I want to make sure that we're not having too easy a time dealing with the story mission. So, before we do that, sorry, one last little bit of housekeeping. We have some pending rewards from the event that we partook in over the course of that last live stream. So let's see what this what happened here with the invasion of Malcorum Prime, where we thwarted the heresies. You have fulfilled your duty, Inquisitor, and fought gloriously for Malcorum Prime. Although the war-torn world has fallen before the collective onslaught of insurgency and a chaos invasion, seek comfort in the knowledge that this particular outcome has already been divined by the psychers of the Holy Ordos. While you and your fellow agents were busy delivering the Emperor's... Whoop. The Emperor's Justice, the special infiltration teams of the Caligari Conclave managed to evacuate the secret Null Psych Citadel of the Ordo Malleus, which was the main objective of the operation. Malcorum Prime will most certainly turn into a demonic cesspit, but we will stand vigil before the taint spreads to the rest of the system. Interesting ulterior motives going on. We have this event reward here, item level 16. All right, cool. Let's claim that. And I should be able to pop this open. Let's see, what do we get from this event? Please grace me with some glory, Emperor. Not literally speaking. Ooh, a new inoculator. A new Mars Force Staff, which I think is a much higher... Ooh, and we finally got our first Relic. Awesome. Relic Telekinetic Rod, unfortunately. Not the type of rods I'll be using, and it's only power level 55. But 
dear lord, that does cause some extra bit of damage. I don't know, we'll see. We will see if we end up using that, but some good additions to our inventory, it looks like. We'll replace this word vein staff. Not that we'd be using it too much anyways. And over here, this Mars Force staff we'll replace with a new one. Yeah, it's power level 108, already 412. And the inoculator is slightly better. We'll definitely pop that on. It's got two reds, which I prefer. And we'll take a look at that real quick before we dive in. All right, cool. Once more, really quickly, the ease method of inventory management we'll keep the <laughs> we'll keep the relic uh, i might put it in my storage but let's just take a quick look at our inoculator here so two reds i'm wondering if i want to replace one restore 10 percent for five seconds five percent for 20 seconds restores 75 percent of max suppression resist eh, i don't quite care about that one and this boosts all damage by 10 percent for 20 seconds or i could replace that by 200 percent for five seconds hmm reduces my uses significantly though Let's go with this. Let's stick with this so I get eight uses. I was up to 11 previously, but I think that's good enough. All right, now we can finally begin. Let me know if you guys don't appreciate those recaps, because if that's a waste of time in your eyes, let me know and I'll avoid them in the future. There was a lot to go over just because it was all that live stream stuff to cover, but let's travel to the next location to investigate the enemy below. See what's going on over here. All right. Uh, okay, so... We're going to... Wow. Let's do this on impossible, then. Still green. Even on impossible, it's still green. Okay. Inquisitor Helena Goslar wants me to investigate a series of strange disappearances in the Ethon system. It is a strange situation. Technically, she can't give me orders. I'm an independent agent of the Imperium who answers to no one. Practically, though, refusing such a demand from a high-ranking senior Inquisitor may be unwise, especially if this Inquisitor is a well-known, devout Puritan. Ugh, Puritans. Ugh. Threat, stationary weapon, chaos cultist, rebel engine, chaos demon, chaos cultist. I don't think I said that right. All right, let's uh, let's dive in. Let's partake in this impossible undertaking. See what we can do for the good of the emperor. Wow, some of the legibility on some of these screens is really not ideal. Let's see if I struggle with my new abilities. They will take some getting used to. Again, this is the first time I'm using a couple of these things, so hopefully it doesn't take too long for me to get familiar with them. It is funny though how much of a difference it can make once you get used to a setup. I'm sure anybody who plays an ARPG is familiar with this. You get used to a setup and then the moment your uh, keybinds change or anything like that, it changes changes everything. I'm in the Underhive to investigate the case of mass disappearances. Talk to me. Congratulations, schematics received from Adeptus Arbites operatives have been analyzed. The abduction cases indicate cult activity. Data coverage is insufficient, but this is the location where most abductees disappear. Can you scan the aerial? Until now, only the underhivers have been affected, but the abductions are beginning to threaten the stability of the hive itself. We have no time to lose. Agreed. Current procedure is inefficient. Deploying Skrytskull units immediately. Initiating data diagnostic litanies. I will follow the trails into the Underhive. Contact me when you have something. All right, excellent. Some assistance coming in from the ship, but meanwhile, let's cleanse. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, literally melting these guys away. Look at this. Oh, really? Cover, cover's gonna get... Okay, okay, fine. Hemorrhage instead, then. If you do not wish to burn for the Emperor, you will hemorrhage for him. I really like that ability. Oh, just literally melting my enemies away. Okay, pop a little hemorrhaging over here. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's get this going over here. Okay. Really, buddy? What are you trying to do here? Okay, let's not die. Let's not uh, summon any demons either. Okay, there we go. I might I might really get used to this setup over here. Ooh. Oof. Oof, some champion you are. I thought this was supposed to be impossible. Repent. Repent. The Emperor protects me, foul beings. Oh, really? You're gonna hide? You're gonna hide? Oh. <laughs> uh, this is truly glory for the Emperor. All right, I should have swapped this shockwave out for something more useful, actually. <laughs> all right, all right. 
Now again, I am, I am, this is technically an easy mission for me, so I shouldn't use this as the baseline for all future endeavors. It will get harder. Oh my god. This is just absolute slaughter. It's a little disgusting. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I hope you guys like my laugh because you're going to be hearing a little bit of it this session. Oh, 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 triggering mines. No worries. Oh, what are you? You're another champion? You don't feel like a champion, my friend. You don't feel like a champion at all. Hemorrhage for me. You guys die as well. There we go. Okay, let's not get too cocky now. It'd be a shame if I died on such an easy mission. The Emperor would surely stop smiling upon me. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> the cooldown is a little bit longer on my primary fire in this uh, loadout compared to the other one. But um, I think this one is armor breaking. So if I'm up against an armored unit that I'm having a hard time with, I should probably swap out to that one. But haven't faced that yet. Just waiting a little bit. Oh. There we go. Let's clean this up. Let's reduce our warp heat as well. Oh, easy enough. Easy enough. <laughs> My crit chance is a lot higher as well, it seems. Oh, look at that. Absolute glory. So much fire. I can't wait till I'm actually... Really? Really? <laughs> I can't wait till I'm actually specking for dot and burning capabilities. Because... I'm already melting, and I'm not really specking that way. I'm just kind of specking for a higher power level. Oh my god. Oh my god. An absolute joke. This is the power of the Emperor. This is truly his work. I am merely a vessel. Praise the Emperor. Look at that. Just, wow, not even a concern. Not even a challenge. And I'm playing this on impossible. This is the hardest difficulty, guys. If I could make it harder, I would. <laughs> Truly a cleansing. Guys. Oh my god. That was glory. Okay. Alright, let's see what this, uh, what this here is. Hmm, check the marked places. This uh, should give me some cause for concern. Let's check the other ones first, just to see what's going on elsewhere. Oh, I need to change my colors. For some reason, it automatically changes. Oh, I guess it's the armor, because I've got new armor on. That's why. Alright, a little bit of this. Literally melting these guys away. And this is without the reduction of their armor types. Okay, time to die, buddy. Not even heating up all that much. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, what do we have here? Another target for some hemorrhaging? It would seem so. Oh, double kill! Really? <laughs> the Emperor guides my hand. Oh, oh. Okay, that doesn't work. But this does. Death is a journey. Oh, really? There we go. <laughs> Just exploded each other. Alright, we've got a couple of individuals here. Nothing that a little bit of pyrotechnics can't fix. Ooh, hello. Do you wish to die? Glory for the Emperor! Glory in his name! Alright, some medical supplies. Not that I need it. This is, uh... This is, this is fun. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> Alright, is that chest going to trigger something? There we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Need to teleport the hell out of here. There we go. Alright. Well, that was scary. That was risky. But I think we're okay. I guess the door is locked now, so hopefully I scouted that area enough. Okay, fair enough. Fair play. Fair play. Almost frightened me there. But the Emperor protects 
as we well know. He keeps his servants safe so that they may serve. Then again, there is no glory like uh, dying in service of the Emperor. Oh, man. Let's roll on in. A couple more easy kills over here. This shouldn't be any trouble for me. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Surely the uh, big bad at the end of this mission is going to cause me some trouble. Oh, come on. A nice little bit of hemorrhaging there. There we go. Excellent. Beautiful. Even more so. Oh. Oh, hello. Whoa. <laughs> I did not see that. Oh, this is truly the power of a Psyker fully on display here. <laughs> Get that dot in there. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. My beam is more powerful than yours. Pathetic Psyker. A sanctioned Psyker will always outperform an unsanctioned Psyker, which is most certainly not true. <laughs> I have limitations to my power, I'm sure. Oh, <laughs> he looked like a bulkier foe, but I guess I was mistaken. Same with these two. Fools to abandon the Emperor. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Glory in his name. All right. Off with you. <laughs> I don't think I can express how uh, how fun that is. Alright, sure, you guys want to take cover? I'll take cover too. This is fun. Oh, look at that. Cover actually works for me. Thanks for the idea, guys. No, you are gone. <laughs> Alright, 41. Easy death. Tech Priest, you failed to mention that the Hive Scum were preparing an ambush. I prefer not to walk into traps. Next time, warn me in advance. That was an ambush? That was a pathetic excuse for an ambush. Why am I complaining? I do not fear these petty fools. Alright, nothing over here. I was hoping there'd be another chest or something over here. Hoping for some mad loot. Oh, what's this? What is this? A teleport beacon. Oh, is it just going to take me back, I guess? Let's just scout this spot over here, make sure I didn't miss anything, just in case. Just in case. Nope, doesn't seem to be... Alright, very well. To the teleport beacon, then. Oh my god, these enemies, though, are just melting away. Such power. Unlimited power! Now, I'm not using the electricity as much, but... You catch the drift, you catch the drift. Alright. This tells me there's going to be something spooky over here, because I believe this is the damage buff, so let's pop this and rush. Oof, I do love that visualization. Alright, here goes. Boom. Boom. Taking cover. Pathetic. There we go. Easy enough. A little bit of hemorrhaging over here. Death to you. Let's pop the medical supplies here, just in case. I said let's pop these, just in case. There we go. Alright, what have we here? A little bit of hemorrhaging. Let's get this over here. Finish these guys off with one mighty explosion. And one more over here. All right. A little bit of hemorrhaging will solve this problem, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Death. Destruction. Purging. Oh, my God. Just the cooldown on my hemorrhage ability is something I wish I could reduce. I'd like to use that a lot more. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. Hmm. I feel like I'm playing a cookie clicker here. Oh, there's one more to kill. One more heretic. An outcast. Be gone! <laughs> Search the corpses. Alright. There's one who has something, I suppose. There we go, this corpse over here. What do you carry, foul being? Ooh, 
not a foul being, an agent of the Inquisition. We bring dozens to the furnace, but this cattle is weak. They don't give strength to the flame. The furnace is always hungry. Need more blood, more souls and screams. The second son told us this. He knows. Yes, he knows the truth. He touched by it, I saw. The upworlders say we are nothing, but we know better. We are the forsaken sons and we are strong. He told us we can be sons and brothers and get the spark of the truth. We will burn down the teachings of the false emperor. I want to receive the truth. I need bring more to the furnace. I will become next son. Glory to the forsaken sons. This doesn't there is sound nothing else to learn. good. The corruption seems to seep to the depths of the underhive. I must press on. I must press on indeed. Let's just check to make sure this teleport beacon doesn't take us elsewhere. As to make sure. Probably just takes us back. Yep. As suspected. Very well. Let us leave this filthy, filthy realm. Alright. Alright. That felt good. Truly the Emperor has blessed me today. Such power. Such power. Let's see what we've got over here. A little bit more XP. Damn, I wanna I wanna get to 17. Quick now. Alright. Okay, I don't think this is better than what I have right now. Uh, I think I'm living in the 35 range right now, but we'll take a look. We'll compare right away. Ooh. Superior cunning, I'd say. Make 500 enemies vulnerable. Ad hoc subjugation perk unlocked. Each critical hit puts vulnerability on the target with the damage type of the attack. And that stacks. Oh, wow. With the rate that I was critting, that's pretty good. And the reason I think why I'm critting so much is because I've spent a fair bit increasing my uh, crit hit chance and also the crit hit strength over here. Uh, which was happening over the course of the live stream as well for the most part. Uh, some of it happened last session, last episode, but some of it this uh, happened right here. Okay, so let's check our inventory real quick. Um, let's see, we have 108 and 107. So none of this stuff will replace... Yeah. Afraid not. Well, that's a worthy replacement. Take us up to 421. Ooh. Oh no, I don't want digital weapons. Eye implant, more warp heat, critical strength, critical hit chance. But I like the dot duration. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. All right, all right. What do we want? 3.9 HP per second plus 75. Yeah, let's do this one instead. And I guess everything else we'll be able to sell. Wow, I can't believe this common signum is better than my rare signum as far as power level is concerned. But I'm not going to swap it out. The one point is not worth it. This, though... Um, yeah, let's swap this. I don't use aimed or sniper stuff. Single target skills, physical damage, damage against chaos cultists. Sure, let's swap this out. Or what about the other set here? Uh, let's, yeah, let's swap it out over here. There we go. Good stuff. I am planned. This one's weaker. This one's weaker. All right. So once more, we're all familiar with the method now. There we go. Away with all of you. Let's actually put that relic into storage. I'll see if uh, maybe someone in the Cabal is interested in this or something. Um, yeah, we'll take a look at that. By the way, if you are interested in joining the Cabal, I did recently add five more slots. So I think there are a couple more available still. So make sure you check up the Knight's Elite uh, if you're looking for a Cabal to join. Now, let's move on to the next story mission, I think. We've fallen behind. Again, I want it to be at least a little bit of a challenge. So let's travel to the next location and investigate the mutant hideout in the abandoned furnace. All right, let's see what we can do here. Serving the Emperor however we can, of course. All right, impossible still. <laughs> sure. My investigation has led me to the uncharted catacombs below the hive. I have discovered that a ragtag tribe of mutants are responsible for the disappearances, but the real masters are a cult called the Forsaken Sons. The Forsaken Sons are using these mutant-like pawns. It is time to visit their hideout and make them confess. Oh, we'll make them confess. Stationary weapons, Chaos Cultist, Rebel Engine, and Chaos Demons. Let us begin this purging. Rather, I suppose, let us continue it. All right. Just coasting through these impossible missions. I'm thinking, by the way, as well, that in two weeks, so not this Saturday, but next Saturday, there will be another live stream, another four hours of purging in the name of the Emperor with the Cabal. It was great fun. At the location. This must this be time. the lair of the cult. Lying heretics. Their blight must be undone. Purge them all. Oh, you know, I forgot to swap the shockwave out. Foolish me, I should have swapped that out. It's okay, we'll do that in time for the next mission. 
for now it'll serve well enough let's see what's going on over here first let's see if these guys are any tougher Witness no <laughs> oh melt for me melt for the emperor die fiends oh my god just breaking everything absolute destruction for who that's what i thought come on now there we go oh another psyker another psyker come on now come on now oh oh look at the listen to the music that music is causing some tension oh i should be scared but i'm not foul heretic your musical cues do not frighten me melt away the emperor compels you melt away <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's move on, let's move on. Nothing like a good cleansing. This is what, uh, there's a heat wave going on in Toronto right now. This is what they were talking about. They are talking about all my pyrokinetic powers, pyrotechnic powers. <laughs> oh, this feels good. This feels fantastic. Fantastic. Come on now. <laughs> all right. There we go. Look at those crits. In fact, let's, I mean, let's use some of our other powers as well. Oh, that actually looks really cool. I like the little animation that comes with it. Using the staff, I feel like Gandalf. All right. All right. Ooh, a giant clump asking to be hemorrhaging. There we go. Hello. How do you do? Outcast grunt. All right. Grunt for me. There we go. Ooh, all right. Getting hit a little bit harder than usual here. Only because of quantity over quality. Obviously, I'm quality. Who are you to stand against me? Hey, he took the cue for that. He took the cue for that uh, voice line. Who are you to stand against me, you foul heretic? Alright, let's pull back to see... I mean, I don't really need the medical supplies. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything up here, though. In case there's a chest or anything a little bit further down. Nope, there are a few more enemies. Not... okay. Alright. There we go. Reducing the number of enemies, slowly but surely. Ooh, this guy survived. Died. <laughs> a little clump here for some hemorrhaging. Ah, no, they're a little too dispersed. That's too bad. You are guilty. Oh. This guy got away. Oh, another Psyker over there. We'll finish him last. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And a little bit of hemorrhaging over here is going to do the trick, I think. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, yes. The Emperor gives me such strength. Oh. Keep an eye out on those Psykers. They can still be scary, mainly because they're full of surprises. Like that. Alright, come on. Come on now, don't waste my time. There's a lot of psychers here. Destroy these mooks because they're just constant damage. I don't like that. Alright, let's run away. I need to heal up. See if we can't get that inoculator to charge up for me could see cover. There we go. There we go. Excellent. 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 Ooh. Big hit there. Another little bit of hemorrhaging over there. Alright. Excellent. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Alright, we're okay. Ooh. A little bit more hemorrhaging. Another hit there. Excellent. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's pop the inoculator because we can. Some more hemorrhaging. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Glory for the Emperor. He wishes you dead, foul heretic. He wishes you dead. All right, now I just need to take care of these uh, sentry guns and stuff. And uh, this man over here. Who wishes to cause me harm. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that barely did anything. Die for me. Beautiful. Mars telekinetic rod. The following spirit detected. This human specimen must have kept a cogitator. 
This is a strange development. Stay alert, Tech Priest. I might need your help with data recovery. That is an interesting development. Fair enough. Well, first let's take care of this Forsaken Sun's word caller. Word? You want a word? I'll give you the word of the Emperor. <laughs> oh. Purge the mutant hideout. That's exactly what I'm doing. One step at a time. Alright, let's pop these medical supplies. Uh, let's pick up the inoculator charges. Might as well. No reason not to. Let us move forward. The left here. Unexplored terrain. I believe the other way around is the last the step I have to take. Oh. Wow. I wanted to see if I could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that Psyker, and the answer is yes, yes, I can. Ooh, another, another, another fancy chest, it looks like. Die for me, baby, die. Mm, just melt away. What is this? By the Emperor, a demon was bound to the chest. <laughs> Look at this demon melt. All right, let's see what have we got here. Really? That rod better be an amazing rod. That better be the rod of the Emperor if you catch my drift. If it's protected by the demon. Oh, oh. I'm too fast for these mines. These mines are too slow for me. All right, I think this is the last way to go. Yep. Excellent. Guide me through these dark halls, Emperor. A gas trap. Not a boring day at all. Not a boring day at all. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Pop this. Let's kill these fools. Ooh. Kill these mooks first. Oh my god. Chaos spawn. This is actually an interesting situation. Alright, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Easy enough. <laughs> Just a matter of preparing myself for the situation. Demented Psyker, how demented are you? Not as demented as me, I can assure you. Laser beam versus laser beam. Mine is superior. Oh, that's a cool... That's awesome. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's intentional, but if it is, that's awesome. No heretic leaves. <laughs> oh, pathetic. But what else can be expected of a of a heretic? What else can be expected of these mutations, these taints upon the world? Ooh, another corpse to investigate Dozens over here. Must have been sacrificed in this slaughterhouse. Life in the Underhive can get worse, it seems. Very reassuring. Anything else to report? Definitely. All green units sent peculiar energy traces from a cortex circuit. Inquisitor, there is a dysfunctional initiate of the Adeptus Mechanicus among the bodies. First the servo skulls, now this. Tech Priest, I want a full analysis and report once I'm back on the ship. Alright, let's pop this chest, investigate that body, and see what's going on over here. The plot thickens. Alright, what have you got for me? Ooh. Encoded by Adeptus Mechanicus Frenos 076AA protocol. It, what is this? Inquisitorial override, cognis record, transcription. Construct alpha is that progress status. Do, 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 do. Further examination of the edifice brought none of the expected results. We can determine by the electromagnetic and radiometric chance that Construct Alpha 0554 F, or the monolith, as the uninitiated call it, is millions of standard years old, but we have been unable to extract any samples from it. Ooh, reference cluster rec 11224, the liturg 
The litur liturgical procedures of molecular probing bear no results. The requisitional expedition Sigma-11 unit shares the strong belief that there is a machine spirit in subject Alpha 04554F, or at least a spark of the motive force. We tried several inducto psalms, but if a machine spirit resides in the edifice, it remains dormant or is reluctant to heed our call. A minor statistical anomaly appeared in the imperiometric device, but corrupted data. Record damaged. Strange. This data slate entry is decades old, and the monolith was inactive back then. I'm sure the tech priest would be thrilled to see that it has become quite active since then. Interesting, interesting. Moving on. We'll continue this investigation. See what else uh, this mystery holds for us. A lot of tech priest involvement in this one. All right, what have you got for me? Oh, come on, keep going, keep going. I, I wonder if I'll get to rank 17 by the end of this session here. I am plant. Ooh, nah, it's not going to be as good as mine. Don't care about these pistols. Ah, the loot's not really ideal. Ooh, that could be handy. Now that I'm using the pyrokinetic staff that I've been ignoring for so long. All right, let's see how that weighs. All right, um, actually, it's worse. Hmm. That's too bad. The word vein staff, I wonder if I replace... Wow, no. Yeah, all this loot is comparatively... kind of pointless, as far as upping my power level is concerned. That is too bad. I mean, I could swap this out. At least there's that. Get myself a little bit higher. Might as well. And uh, sell it all. Sell everything else. All right, away with all of you. Things that I will not use. Excellent. And can I actually not speak? Oh yeah. Tech priest. I couldn't help but notice that the tech priest I found at the monolith was a member of a requisitional expedition, just like you. They conducted research here. And now the monolith is stirring. Makes me wonder why these expeditions are always connected to heretical activities. Care to explain? As you request. Full disclosure is the most logical solution at this point. Everything else hinders efficiency. The Adeptus Mechanicus, much like the Inquisition, includes many factions. The requisitional expeditions served as a cover for the secret operations of our factions. Elaborate, Tech Priest. We are the Xenorite, specializing in research into Archaeotech and Xenos relics in the Caligari sector. Are you confessing to tech heresy? Negative, Inquisitor. Several Forge worlds provide discrete support to us. 67.8% of the local Xenorites serve Inquisitors, mostly the ones you call Radicals. Should I find this reassuring? It doesn't mean it's not heresy, only that it could be widespread heresy. Logical conclusion. Communion with the Cortex records revealed a hexamathic code with the coordinates of the Xenorite base under the Hive. Investigating the location could provide useful data. Or a meeting with some more wretched cultists. All right, very interesting. So I just want to say, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, but I've always, I always figured if I was an actual Inquisitor, I would likely be a... Uh, I would likely be a radical inquisitor because um, I think it makes sense. You have to know and understand the Xenos, and in fact, you have to take advantage of the Xenos to uh, not just the Xenos, but even you know demons or whatever else may lay uh, elsewhere. I'm just saying uh, you have to take advantage of all these things and the knowledge that you can you can gain uh, to fight the enemy with more strength. So I would almost certainly, if I were a, a real-world uh, Inquisitor, I would almost certainly be a a radical Inquisitor. So I'm just curious if any of you guys have thought about that in the comments down below. Do let me know, because I'm curious where everybody else stands as far as that topic goes. Because um, it just, I don't know, it just makes sense to me. But uh, I, I understand that it does sound a little bit like... Uh, you know, and uh, what means to the ends kind of thinking, where, yeah, the ends justify the means, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know, it's an interesting conversation. I've always been 
I've always been curious about people's thinking about that. No, I changed my appearance. Why is this still... Did I not save? Did I not save it? Did I, did I miss a save button? Whatever, I'll do that later. Uh, nonetheless, let me know in the comments below. And actually, while I'm saying that, I should also mention, as always, if you guys have been enjoying this series, please do not hesitate to let me know by... Uh, well, by commenting and liking this video, it makes a huge difference. As I've said before, it does affect my decision-making process as to which um, which series I should continue and at what rate. And it also helps because of how the YouTube algorithm works. Now, with all that said and done, let's see. What do I replace Shockwave with? Uh, like, I, I don't feel like I'm lacking anything, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm just fine. I could maybe get the Firestorm. It's not a bad ability. I uh, More dot burning. I'm really not using anything except for Molten Beam and Hemorrhage over here. What about Fiery Form? Hmm. Nah, that doesn't seem worth it. Could increase my dodging capabilities, levitation to move around faster. I could get a sail in here. Knock down, knock back. I don't have any of that. So you know what? Yeah, let's pop a sail on this for now. And let's actually swap these around because I'm used to four being Misfortune because of my other setup. So let's do that. I might actually go full pyro. I mean, dear lord, that 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 was a ton of fun. Okay, onwards to the next mission. Let us continue this investigation. Visit the ruined base of the Requisitional Expedition. Let's travel to the next location. See what it holds for us. All right. Uh, still impossible. 470. Okay, it's a little bit tougher than the previous ones. Mission briefing. My inquiry is lead. Inqu oh, an inquisitor. An, an inquisitor. Inqu wow, words. An inquisitor inquiring. My inquiry is leading into very dark places, both figuratively and literally. The unfortunate citizens of the Hive were dragged to an ancient monolith of Xenos origin and sacrificed before it. However, what I find even more baffling is traces that I discovered of an ancient Adeptus Mechanicus expedition hunting for the very same Xenos relics. With the help of my tech priest, I've located their ruined base in the Underhive. Hopefully I will find answers there. All right, this is, is this the final mission? No, I imagine there's a couple more missions. In fact, sorry, I should back out to my command bridge and I believe there was a new clue that I discovered, no? Um, I guess I could open my journal here. I guess it was this. I've discovered that the dead tech priest used to be a member of a requisitional expedition just like Artificer Omicron Ark from my retinue who admitted to having knowledge of other expeditions. They all work for the secret Xenorite faction of the Adeptus Mechanicus, specializing in research into Archaeotech and Xen Xenos relics in the Caligari sector. There's evidence which indicates that the monolith uses motive force, which is quite unsettling. Okay, fair enough. So it was just our conversation. That was the, that was the new clue. All right, all right, all right. So I've read all this. Let us begin. An interesting side quest. I'm looking forward to seeing the Dark Eldar implemented. I want to see what kind of heresy they bring. And if we're bringing Xenos in, then what other classes maybe are introduced as well? Alright, let us uh, kill Main Purge. Let's move. Explore the area. It's a good way to start. Okay, pop a little bit of hemorrhaging. Let's see what a sail looks like. Just let's get it, give it some action. See what it does for us. Oh! What? Why was I not using that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so some hemorrhaging over here and an assail over here. <laughs> How is it going to knock down or knock back when it just implodes my enemies? All right. All right. I like this. I like this a lot. Look at that. Hmm. I love it. Also activated tactical mode just so I could see what the hell's going on. Makes it a little bit easier to manage. Oh, right. I need to keep an eye on my warp heat still. <laughs> using uh, my abilities a bit too liberally. Ooh, a word bearer's champion. Champion, eh? That's what you're going to call yourself? Okay, okay. Actually causing me some struggle. What am I saying? This isn't a struggle. Rock! Your world. There we go. Uh, let's move straight down first. Oh, there's nothing to investigate here, but a chest. I wonder if this one's protected by a demon as well. There's a protective hex on the chest. I must defeat the <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you are weak and pathetic. Die for me, Chaos Demon. Time to what have we got? What have we got? Something nice, I hope? Probably not all that great. Protected by a demon. Not really all that great. Alright. <laughs> you cannot hurt me, he says. Famous last words. Famous last words, foul heretic. You do not know what pain awaits you. The Emperor's judgment awaits you. Die for me. Die, I say. Oh. Okay, well, let's pop this first. A little bit of fire never hurt anybody. You've got fire, I've got fire too. The cleansing flame of the Emperor. There we go. Squeaky clean. It's like a Tide commercial. Okay, let's pop this over here. All right, a little bit of hemorrhaging. Die for me. Oh yeah, there we go. Easy, easy. And hemorrhaging, just waiting for it. There we go. <laughs> and knockback. <laughs> That's my favorite definition of knockback. Knockback absolutely obliterates the enemy. There we go. Melt into a fine paste. Oh, beautiful. Glory in the Emperor's name. Revel in the abilities he has bestowed upon me. He has gifted me. Wow. <laughs> just waltzing through. Just waltzing through. Alright, you know what? We're gonna back up. No, no, let's take care of these guys first, and then we're gonna back up. And these guys as well. And you. And you. Come on, come a little bit closer. There we go. A little bit closer. There we go. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna back up because I walked past that objective, and I might as well take care of it first before I have to backtrack. Who likes backtracking? The Emperor does not have time to waste, nor do his agents. Let us be quick. Swift in bringing justice to this hive world. I wish the environments were a little bit more varied. I feel like I've been in the same place for the last few missions. Okay. I imagine something very threatening awaits on the other side. Somewhat. You are guilty. Oh, oh, oh. This guy here. Rushing me. Alright, okay. Relax, buddy. There we go. Pop that. Let's get this ability activated. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Just melting Chaos Marines away. Melting them away. They pose no challenge to me. Oh, wow. Die, heretic. Die for me. Oh my god. Mm. Beautiful. It's like... <laughs> in the comments below, tell me which was your favorite explosion. They all look similar, but they all feel so very different. Alright, nothing over here. Man, this is a lot of power. <laughs> Alright, and let's see what this corpse holds for me. A wise man learns from the deaths of others. Let's see what this lecture is. To anyone who might find this, may the god emperor have mercy on me. They found me at the furnace and made me attend to the cogitators, which is the only reliable way of communication in the Underhive. May the Omnisaya forgive me, but I had to do it. Even if I am just a lowly menial and I don't even know the proper canticles, I made my escape as soon as I could, but they found me. Now I am trapped here. I would rather starve here than suffer the fate of the prisoners. Even in death, I will serve the Emperor with what little I know. Only the leader of the heretics, Kesora the First Son, knows what they are up to. But there are traitor Astartes involved. I saw them. I saw terror incarnate. The main cogitator of the research base is still intact. Use my access litanies. Praise the God Emperor. May the God Emperor have uh, mercy on his soul, if there is one left still. He tried to serve even in death. Maybe I should read those notes in like a in like a fake tech priest voice. I am sorry, God Emperor. Please forgive me. All right, moving on. Yeah, see, I would have hated backtracking. Even now, I wish I was blowing things up. I mean, I guess I could. There's some things to explode, but useless, pointless. Don't need 
medical supplies. Let's investigate this objective first, because it is again on the way. Coming gas attack. Time to leave this lovely place. What gas attack? <laughs> Alright. There we go. A little bit of hemorrhaging. Oh boy. You speak ill of the Emperor? I like your threats, exalted champion. You do not frighten me. Oh dear. Being surrounded. Okay, melt away for me. Weak and pathetic. Alright, alright. I wish, uh, I wish that line of dialogue hadn't happened in the middle of action, but fair enough, fair enough. That was like, what, three Trader Marines that I just melted away with my beam and <laughs> pyrokinetic capabilities? Oh my god. Oh, you stand no chance, Forsaken Sons initiate. They're not initiating anything. Alright, let's move on. What do we have here? This cogitator. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You will not survive. Nope. <laughs> All right. By Kesora, the first son, to master of truth, reference mechanic space, and glory to the truth. We have disposed of the corpses of the tech priests from the base. There were almost no survivors left after your magnificent arrival. Only a few servitors remained. My disciples captured an unbeliever at the furnace who was able to establish a proper communication network and erase any records of the monoliths. He will begin his task immediately. My initiates have started to gather offerings to the Dark Gods. The Hive Dwellers have proven to be useful to our cause. It is just as you said, Master. The light of the monoliths is weak now, but it is like a gathering whirlwind, growing with every soul sent to the warp. In time, it will become a mighty tempest. It is a gift from the gods that the proper constellations for the great offering will only congregate in three decades. I will lead many to the truth, and we will have time to give thousands to the gods. I will report any further progress. Praise the truth, and death to the false emperor. Ugh. I feel disgusting just reading those words. All right. Let's move on. Ooh, another, a fancy chest, this one. What do you have for me? Such a crude trick against an inquisitor. You okay now. Die, heretic! Alright now, let's not actually die to these uh, turrets. Oh, fair enough. I was greedy. I was tempted by the, uh, by the Aquila. Fair enough, let's move on. Move on. I used one, uh, inoculator so far. Might as well have it replaced, just in case. You never know what, uh, foul heresies await us. The Emperor protects those that are prepared for the worst. The Emperor also protects those that bring their own explosives, like I do. Witness the glory of the Emperor! <laughs> oh yes, die for me. A little too easy, perhaps. A little too easy, perhaps. But I can't make it any harder, guys. I guess what I could do is remove some of my um, abilities and stuff, like weaken myself artificially. Let me know if you'd almost prefer that. Um, but I'd like to move further along the story because there are some really awesome moments uh, to come. Uh, if you see the live stream, the VOD of it, you'll see how difficult the game actually gets when you level to a higher point and when you progress further down the uh, story and whatnot. It gets pretty insane. So I'm looking forward to getting there. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. You know you're going to die. You might as well make it easy for all of us. Ooh. He looks fancy. He looks very fancy. Let's leave him for later. He is the objective after all. Thrice cursed! Curse me as many times as you wish, heretic. Your curses have no power upon me. For I am protected by the Emperor. This is... I'm playing Cookie Clicker right now. Yeah, die for me. Die for me. Nothing like a nicely baked cookie. Okay, 
Let's pop this over here, a little bit of hemorrhaging, get rid of all the mooks first. This guy is just standing there, looking pretty, not doing anything. Oh my god, yeah, go ahead, come closer. Cool. Couple more of them over here. There we go. This guy's literally not doing anything, why is he... Welcome, oh, that's why. fellow seeker of the truth. I'm afraid that you can't receive the teachings in your current state. Let Ulbrax, the Forsaken, free you from the bonds of your existence. What is this? No, master! I was faithful! What? Oh my god, what? <laughs> Looks like your friend freed you from the burden of your nets. Emperor, be my shield and strength. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, that was a bit of a funny cutscene, I'm not gonna lie. Pop this, pop that. Alright, die for me. How tough could you be? Alright, there we go, there we go. Easy enough. A chaos engine does not frighten me. You do not frighten me, Olrax the Forsaken. Neither do your gobblers. Die. Melt away. The power of the Emperor compels you. My flame against yours. The leader of the cult might still be alive, but he has only a few minutes left. Send him up to the ship, and I will stabilize him for interrogation. My task is done here. I have brought the Emperor's justice to the Faithless and avenged countless innocents. All right, glory in the name of the Emperor. We have done well this day. Mission completed. We've got a traitor marine aboard our ship for interrogation, hopefully a very violent interrogation. There's no drift to catch there. I mean it literally. I hope he howls from pain. He will not be merciful. I can assure you that. All right, let's return to the bridge. Oh man, we absolutely destroyed that, uh, thing. Okay, hopefully we got something of value here. Doesn't seem to be the case. Doesn't seem to be the case at all. Oh, just short, just short of level 17. That is unfortunate. Neural implant, that might be a little better than what we have right now. The signums, 35 is I think what I'm at right now. So I'll just see if they're better for me. Some more warp damage to be had, perhaps. Fair enough. Let's see. What is, uh... What's the result of this interrogation? How did the interrogation go? The subject had severe objections to the procedure, <laughs> but once I rearranged certain neural pathways and removed a few non-vital appendages, <laughs> he became very compliant. I have a full report if you're interested in the details. A summary will suffice. The word bearers wanted to take out this fool once their schemes were compromised. They are hiding in the depths of the Underhive, by the largest monolith. They will soon perform a grand ritual and sacrifice the remaining prisoners. These foul traitors and their craving for rituals. Anything else? The Xenox devices are somehow connected to these dark practices, but the heretic had no additional information. Apart from the usual ramblings, how should we proceed, Inquisitor? We need to act immediately. We need a precise surgical cut to sever the head. Precise, surgical, and cuts. Excellent premises. We will start preparations at once. Ah, yes. The precise surgical cuts of my explosive capabilities. Let us investigate this new clue. Uh, yeah. The cultist leader has been interrogated by the Magos Biologus on my ship. The heretic confessed to following the orders of the traitorous word bearers and divulged the location of their hiding place in the depths of the Underhive, near the largest monolith. I have learned that these traitors will soon perform a grand ritual to sacrifice the remaining prisoners and that these Xenos devices are somehow connected to their dark practices. No innocent servant of the Emperor will die, not on my watch. We will continue our investigation into the enemy below. Stop the word bearers ritual at the main fabricator monolith. However, we will wait until the next session. Thank you all very much for joining me and the Emperor and Inquisitor Party Elite 
on this adventure today. I hope you had a good time. If you did, as always, I humbly request that you simply drop a like and a comment. It really helps the channel out and it really helps me know what you're interested in, which makes a huge difference to how I approach the schedule. Apart from that as well, a massive thank you, as always, to the patrons. Credits up on screen right now. You guys make a massive difference with your support every month. And as always, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, may the Emperor protect you.